In this video, I show you how to download Crazy Craft 4 on Minecraft and go and install it. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel. Make sure you watch this guide right until the end because I'm gonna show you important steps throughout the whole video. And without any further ado, let's go and get into this. Now let's go and get straight into this guide. So as you can see, I'm now on my desktop and the first thing you want to do is go and open it with your search browser. So let's go and open up mine now. I personally use Google Chrome and then you want to come to a search engine such as Google. Now in order to go and get Crazy Craft, we're actually gonna go and use a launcher for this. So we can't just use a standard Minecraft launcher, we have to go and get a specific one. Now in order to use Crazy Craft, I must add on, you need to own Minecraft. You have to have a paid version of Minecraft of the Minecraft Java edition. This is not free, you do actually have to pay, but as long as you've got that Minecraft Java edition, you can then go and use that to go and play Crazy Craft. So the first thing you wanna do is simply go into the Google or any search engine and simply search for Voids Wrath, just like so. Then you wanna to come to the top result here, which is currently voidswrath.com. Click here and it's gonna go and take you to the website. Then once you're on the site, you wanna to go to this top bar and simply go and click on Mod Packs. Click here and it's gonna load you here. As you can see, here we have the Void Launcher. And then below it tells you all the mod packs you can go and get using the Void Launcher. Now do keep watching as I'm showing the full install process and how to get everything set up. Then all you want to do is go and click on Read More and Download. And it's gonna tell you a bit more about the launcher. So you, it comes and sort of describes what it does. Um, but basically I'm showing you that in this video. So then it's gonna come down and it's gonna tell you your launcher requirements. So essentially make sure you've got a new version of Java to go and update Java, open up a new tab. And all you want to do is Google Java like so, and then you want to come to java.com, uh, it will say Java Oracle, and you can go and download the latest version just here um, and make sure it's up to date. But you probably already have an up-to-date version of Java, but if you don't, that's how you do it. And then yeah, and there's another requirement here saying vanilla Minecraft plays Minecraft at 60 FPS to ensure good FPS on mod packs. So yeah, that's sort of the main requirements. And once you're happy that your computer fits these requirements, you want to simply come down and click download for Windows. As you can see, it says hit download. Um, so click here and it's gonna go and start the download, which is 96 megabytes. Now, as you can see, this is a zip file. So it just finished downloading. So then I'm gonna move my Chrome over here and I'm gonna go and drag the zip file onto my desktop like so. And then all I'm gonna do is close off this. So we've now finished in Google Chrome. So then you wanna go and double click on this and it's gonna go and open up the folder. So essentially it's just compressed to make it a bit smaller. And then it goes and shows you the contents. Then you wanna go and click extract all and you can go and choose where you want it to be extracted to and it's gonna create a new folder. So I'm just gonna extract it to my desktop with a new folder. So click extract and then hopefully it would not too long. It's gonna go and make the new folder as you can see just up here. And there we go, it's pretty much finished. So now I can close off these two file explorers and I'm gonna go and open up void launcher. So then go and open up the folder which was just created and then we have these options here. So I'm gonna go and open up void launcher.etsy. So I'm gonna click here and then we're gonna go and see the next step which is gonna take us to. So I just got this pop up here saying Microsoft Defender smart screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. All I had to do was click more info which is about here and then it's gonna go and give you your option saying run anyway. Do do this at your own risk of course, um, but I do have antivirus installed as well. So I'm gonna go and click run anyway and then it's gonna go and start. So as you can see, here we go, it's now launched it up. So the first thing you want to do is go and log in using your Minecraft account details. As I said earlier, this is not a free version of Minecraft, you have to pay. So all you need to do is log in with your usual Minecraft details, which you log in on the Minecraft website and in the usual Minecraft launcher. So I just successfully logged in, and as you can see, it now says hi, and it's not asking me to log in. As I said before, you have to own Minecraft. So now let's go and find the mod pack. So as you can see, here is Crazy Craft 4, just here. So what you want to do is click on it once and then it's gonna go and load the mod list here and all the options and information about it. So you can scroll through the mod list, but what I'm gonna do is go and click play. So you can go and click play here, but you've gonna got options up here as well if you want to go and change any settings, but I'm ready to go and play. So I'm gonna go and click play and then it's gonna go and start a download. As you can see at the top it says downloading. I'll move this down um, and it says downloading package and it's just gonna take a bit of time. Once again, this will depend on your internet speed. So you just have to be patient with all the downloads that are required. 
So guys, it is doing a lot of downloads and I am still waiting. Just so you know, this will take a few minutes. Like I've probably been waiting two to three minutes already now and it's still doing more downloads. So you've just got to be patient. So guys, after it's finished doing all the downloads and the installing, you're gonna go and get a pop-up of the Minecraft launcher. Now, as you can see, this is the 1.7.10 edition. This is just because this is what um, Crazy Craft is ran on and you just gotta wait for all of the mods to be loaded. As you can see, we're currently on two out of seven, so there will be quite a few stages but all the downloads are now done and it's just loading them up. So hopefully this won't take too much longer and I'll, catch, and I'll catch up with you once it's finished. And guys, it's now finished loading. So as you can see, we're now on the home screen for Crazy Craft. So let's go and press single player and then go and press create new world and we'll just go and create a new creative world. Just a quick note, I probably should have said earlier as well, but if you get any points where it just says unresponsive, unresponding, do just wait. It's simply just sort of catching up. It's being a bit slow when it launches because there's a lot of content to load. Um, so yeah, I've had it myself personally and I think other people have it as well. Um, so you just got to be patient with it and it probably will um, sort of work itself out. You just got to wait. And guys, it's just finished loading. So as you can see, we're now on it and here we are. So it's gonna go and taste some stuff in the chat as well. And there we go. So here we are guys and if you go and press E, you can go and look at everything you've got. Um, and yeah, as you can see, there's so much awesome stuff they've added. You can scroll through and yeah, it's honestly so, so awesome. So it'll take a minute as it just loads in a few chunks to catch up. Um, so I'll just be patient as you can see, there we go. And the game is still loading. So you just gotta give it a few minutes and I'll probably lower my settings as well, like the render distance a bit, um, just to give it a chance to sort of keep up. As you can see, we're seeing so many awesome stuff, guys. And yeah, that's literally today's video. If you found it useful, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.